Hey everyone, whether we like it or not, AI is here to stay. And ChatGPT has given everyone the opportunity to create their own custom GPTs, which they can use to leverage in order to earn some extra money. So I am going to show you how you can create your own custom GPT. The first thing you want to do in order to start creating your first GPTs is you want to upgrade to chat gpt4 and if you don't know how to do that you can click on this section here and then you will be able to select gpt4 and then you would have to upgrade it is 20 dollars a month so just keep that in mind in case you are on a budget the next thing you want to do once you upgrade is click on explore gpts so this is sort of like your phone's app store that's the best way to think about this page. Next, you want to click on create. And here is the interface in order to create your GPT. The screen on the left hand side is what you will use in order to create GPT. And the preview section is for testing what you have created. So let's start off with trying to create a GPT for training dogs. I would like to I would like to create a GPT for dog training. Sometimes this GPT builder is slow, so you would have to pack a lot of patience for it. Okay, so now it gives you a response and sure, let's leave it as canine coach. Now it's going to generate the profile picture and you should see it in the next few seconds. Also notice on the right hand side, it now has a couple of preemptive uh, prompts in order for you to test. And our profile icon looks pretty good. Actually, it looks fantastic. Okay, so we're not going to change the profile icon. And now we are going to get into the details of it. If you've used ChatGPT before, then this is going to be very familiar. There is no coding that is involved. We're going to answer this question with, I want to prioritize preventing dogs from pulling. All right, so now let's just test what we have so far. And if we click on one of these prompts, we're just going to let it build here. All right, so now we can see that the preview is actually doing what ChatGPT is doing. And I've mentioned before that it is um, pretty slow, so you definitely want to pack some patience. And so far, it's good. If you are satisfied with what you've done, you can click on save and then you can actually publish it if you want, or you can keep it private. That way you can continue to work on your GPT. Here, since the GPT builder seems to have frozen, we can just stop it there. Now there's a configure tab up here. And if you click on that, then you can name your GPT. So we'll name this K9 Coach. And then it'll have instructions. And in terms of the prompts that show up when you first launch the GPT, you can add additional prompts as well. And you can add capabilities. Now that we have named our GPT, we can click on save and our confirm button is enabled. And we'll just save it only for, for me for now while I continue to work on this. Now, once you've saved it, you'll go back to this page here. And on the left hand side, you'll be able to see all of your created GPTs at the very top. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and consider subscribing. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Take care.